and welcome to DTWG, the prep welcome. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be going through the coordinate plane. Now, I have <coughs> I've been working on algebra all this while, so I have done, you know, intro to um, algebra, polynomials, equations, single step, multi step, you know, um, quadratic formula, and all. Okay, factoring, factorizing, evaluating, simplifying. So now we are into slopes and functions. All right. And the first thing that you have to treat when you get to slopes and fun function is properly understanding the coordinate plane. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be taking you through several examples on how to plot, get your points on your coordinate plane. That's something like this. It's called also a graph. Okay, and how to, you know, identify pick a pair know where the pair is know the coordinate the x and y okay and after this we'll go into graphing equations we're going to finding the slope we're going to the point slope formula and the intercept slope formula we're going to functions okay so sit back relax i have you i got you okay so and uh, please do um try to register there's, there's a free course i'm working on so it's going to be free on the website dtwgdprep.com so I will leave the link. You can register on that course. You know, I've curated, arranged everything there for you and also working on worksheets. So after you watch a video, you have worksheets you can download, you can print, you know, and work on it. Okay, worksheets with your answers. I'm also going to put the answers there also for you. Okay, so um, yeah. So before we get, get into the video, please don't sub forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and also check our website for free summary notes, study guides, practice question. This is the website, dtwgdprep.com. You can also join our Facebook group, over 23,000 wonderful members in the community that is always there to support you. Ask about anything about the GED in whichever state you are in the US or in the world, and someone would help you out. Okay, so check all the links in the video description box of this video so now let's get on to this question so it says uh, plot the following other pair on the coordinate grid now when you see a pair like this okay what it means is two is on the x-axis y3 is on the y-axis now look in maths when you have a coordinate plane the x-axis that's this line here this horizontal line, this is the x-axis. Why the vertical line here is the what? y-axis. Okay, so this is the x, this is the y. Sometimes in your graph, they won't put, they won't label the y or label the x. So it's it's now you to know that this way is your x, while this way is your y. So your ordered pair, this is called an ordered pair. All right, this is like to find a point on a graph or location. If you even um, <clears throat> on maps you see you see you're going to say north is 20 30 degrees south east you know it's just <coughs> a way a mathematical way to find points on a grid okay so the first value is your x it would be on the x plane while the y axis would be on the y plane okay so this is a two dimension graph okay we have three dimensional graphs where there's there's a z okay that's you know there's a z that you, uh, there's a there's a line a z anyway that's quite advanced so let's just let's just stay here this is gd let me not make anything complex for you okay so we're focusing on two planes all right that is your x and your y where the first value here is your x y the second is your what well, that's which three is your what y so how do we find this particular how do we plot this on our coordinate grid this says x is two go to where x now x you can see we have the positive side we have the negative side also y y has the positive up here is positive low here is what negative you will notice that all here they are all positive any value that stays here it means it's positive here you can see we have a positive and negative uh x here here we have the two negative all values that uh location of points are all negative here you have y negative and x was positive okay so it says here two that's positive two and three so this is x and this is y so go to where x on the grid is two so this is two all right 
Then it says y is 3. So just put the point here, put the point here, then trace them all out until they intersect. When they intersect, this point is the location of the other pair. This is our plot for these two points. When x is 2 and y is 3. This is our point where the two lines intersect. Okay. Now number two says when uh, uh, x is four and uh, y is one. So go to where x is four. Pick just you know with your little pencil there. Pin it down where x is four and where is y one. Y one is here. So trace it out. Trace it out. Okay. Where they meet, where the two lines meet each other is the location. Of that point on the coordinate grid okay of the ordered pair all right on the coordinate grid so this point is what four comma one here this is what two comma three now look at this this says x is zero y is two so x is zero and y is two so x is zero here and what is y y is positive two so this is where y is so you trace o and it means y he, uh, here, all right? You know, this is where y starts from. This is where um, o, uh, zero is. So our point will be here, okay? So this is this point where x is zero and y is two, okay? Now our next point, which is four, number four, it says x is negative three and y is two. x negative three, this is where x is negative three. y is two, trace this out trace this out and our point where they meet is the coordinates okay is the location of that other pair x as what minus three and y as two now look at number five it says when x is what five and y is minus four so x as positive five y as minus four this is y as minus four so we trace this down here Trace this also down until they meet. And this is the location of the point where they meet each other. So here we have 5, comma, minus 4. So here is 6, 1. Uh, number 6 is x is 1, y is 1. So x is 1 here, y is 1 here. Trace it here. Trace this also and they meet here. All right, so this is x1, y1. Now number 7 says x is 3, y is 0. So x is 3, positive 3, and y is 0. So it traces down here and it stops here. All right, because you know this is where 3 is. So they have they will stop here. All right. So we have here 3, comma 0. Now number 8 says where x is negative 2, y is negative 1. X negative 2, y negative one so this is negative this is x at negative two y at negative one so we trace trace sorry my lines are not straight and it meets here so this is x at negative two y at negative one all right so our next number nine says x at zero uh sorry x at zero y as negative five so x at zero y as negative five so it's like what just tracing it down here and this will be the location of this other pair, x at 0, y as negative 5. All right, and our final pair is, sorry for the dogs, sorry. Our final pair is uh, x at negative 4, y as negative 2. Okay, so x negative 4, y negative 2. So this is negative 2, this is negative 4. So we trace, trace a faint line trace this guy also and they meet at this point so this is our plot for the pair the other pair negative four comma negative two so you can see this is how you plot you know on your coordinate grid other pairs that's locations okay on your coordinate grid now let's let me take you through an ex likely example a likely practice question that you can get Exam question, I mean, that you can get on your GED. Let's see, look Look at this. It says here, the table below shows the recorded height growth of a tree within 10 years. 
plot the location of points of the points of days two and seven on the coordinate grid. So you will see that in your GED, you know, it won't give you this direct question. You won't, you might likely not see this direct question. What is the location of this point? You know, it will add some text and all that. Okay, so don't be confused about the text and the big table. Don't be tensed up. You, you get my point? I've seen students, I tutor, sorry, I forgot to mention, I tutor one-on-one. -on -one, so if you're interested, you can contact me. All right. So students, I tutor. All right. When they see big text, they are like, they, they're just scared and they run away. No. Just relax, read the text. You, you will be so surprised that the final question won't even need, you won't see, you won't really use um, up to half of the text involved. Okay, like this question says, plot the location of the, of the points of days two and seven. So you just need two and seven. That's, those are the points that you need. Okay, so don't be scared about the, the text and maths. Don't let it, um, you know, frighten you. So here, you also have to understand your coordinate grid, all right? From the label, this is the um, subject of the grid, height of the tree. This is the label. This is when the axis, I mean. This is um, this axis, which is the y-axis on a normal coordinate grid. This axis is the height in centimeter, while this um, horizontal axis is what day in year so our vertical is what height in centimeter so we have to plot according to what we have on our axis okay on this um, locations all right so it says we should pl uh, plot the location of of the points of days two and seven from our table now we also have to understand our table our table is uh sorry i think this should be wrong this is wrong this should be year it should be year two, years two and seven, okay? So from our table here, year two is this and year seven is this. So we have to plot this point and this point, all right? So uh, for day two, so we come, year two, I mean, so we come, this is year two, all right? And what is the height when it is year two? The height is what, five centimeter, okay? year two this is the height so this is five centimeter you know what we trace just like what we did what we trace this will be our point all right this will be the location of this values this data for year seven the height is nine centimeters so you will come to year seven okay we trace to where nine is this is where nine is trace out nine then this is year seven trace it down they meet here so these are two location so in plotting, you know, we have to draw like a straight line. So you see a straight line go that would cross the two points. All right. So this, sorry, it's not, I think it, it's okay that way. Okay. So this is our plot for these two locations. We draw a straight line to meet, meet um, the two points. Okay. So that's how you find a location on a coordinate grid in case you have the test. Uh, in case it's in the GED, you need to understand what this is the height. This is the what year. Okay. If you make, if you do make a mistake and say, and maybe use your, your years here, here, let's say you say this is two and you now say this is the height. You see, you have a totally different thing. All right. So this will be here. That's if you're using, you mistakenly make this as your year. All right, and you miss and you make this as your height. You will see in the answer option in your GED, you're also going to see this because some people misinterpret, they don't know how to int interpret um, graphs and tables. All right, you have to know what your axes are, what is the level of the axis. Okay, so if you misinterpret it, you see you get a different result. All right, so for year two, let's say you pick you make this as the height, then for year seven, you suddenly make this. Okay, year seven is you make this as year seven and you make mistakenly make this as the height. You can see you have totally, you have a totally different thing entirely, which is quite wrong, which is very, very wrong. Okay, so please do make sure you read the labels and follow it through with your table. All right, so this is how you plot location of points on a coordinate grid. Now, let's say, for example, we were told you're given points already and you're now asked to find 
what is the ordered pair of each point dotted? You get my point. And your answers, are the, you have answer options A, B, C, and D. Okay. And you're told, what is the point of point A? They might say point, they might, you know, name the point A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay. Here, the point of A is, since we have, it is standing on the y axis. It means that x, our value for x should be zero. If it's standing directly on the y axis, if the point is directly on the y axis, our point for x will be zero, y, y will be five. That's for this point. Now look at this. What would the, be the value of this point, of this uh, other pair? All right, put your x here, put your y here so you don't get confused. So you go to your x, you trace it down, it is 4, go to your y, you trace it to the y axis, <coughs> and it is 2. So the location, <coughs> sorry, the other pair is 4, 2. Now look at this. Open up a parenthesis, put your x, put your y. Okay, you can see this falls on the x. So it means x is 4. Now y, since it's here, trace it down, y should be what? 0. Okay, look, look at this. So... Put your x comma y, put your comma, all right. On the x axis, trace from the point, trace down to the x axis. This is a negative two. For the y axis, trace down to the y axis. This is what one. Okay, now look at here. You can see here, this is x, this is comma y. On the x axis, it is negative three. On the y axis, since this is directly on the x axis as negative three, it means tracing down the y axis is what zero. The, the point on the y axis is what zero. Now look at this. All right. This falls on, sorry, I mean here. Okay, yeah. This falls on the y axis. So this is a negative one. So we put a negative one. So it, since it falls on the y axis, when we trace up, it takes us to zero on the x axis. So this is this point, this the other pair of this location is zero, negative one. Now look look here. All right. Trace this down to the x axis. We trace down. What does this give us? Negative three. Trace this now to the y axis. We trace up. It gives us negative five. So this is the other pair. Okay? On the coordinate grid. So it depends on which coordinate grid you are dealing with. It might be more than five. You know, this this I'm using as an example. Your coordinate grid might be more than five, just like the way you saw the previous example of um, the height of the three. You can see that is 10. Some might be 100, 1,000 and above, okay? Don't worry, I'm going to treat data and statistics for you, which will be interpreting a lot of tables, bar charts, bar graphs. And I know when you go through that course, you'll be confident of interpreting any table, any statistic table, okay, that you come across in math. Now, what is our final point here? All right, put your X up, put your Y up. Why I do this, okay? Also, when teaching students, is so you don't forget. You don't put Y here, you don't put X here. All right, so it's always good, you, you know, just put that up here so you don't forget. All right, so trace to the X axis, we trace to the x-axis. What does it give us? It gives us 3, positive 3. Takes trace to the y-axis and it gives us a negative 4. So this is the other pair for that particular uh, point on our coordinate grid. All right, thank you. This has come. We've come to the end of this video. Our next video will be how to graph equations, linear equations. Okay, so thank you for staying tuned. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please, please do give this video a thumbs up. Do subscribe. Um, like this video, uh, share this video in your study groups, um, in your in, um, to friends and family who needs the GED test. And also you can check our website for free summary notes, study guides, practice questions, your GED formula sheets, all from the dtwgedprep.com website. You can join our Facebook group and also a Reddit group. We have a Reddit group. Reddit group, you can also join. All right. And all links are in the video description box of this video. If you also require one on one tutoring, you can contact me for that. So thank you. Thank you so much. And I will leave you with this, which is beautiful. Please don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Please do give your life to Christ, for He is the way, He is the truth, and He is the life. 
is the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last and give us peace. That peace that we require here on earth, all peace is in him. And he's going to give us, if we come to him and ask it of him, he's going to give that to us. So come every storm, every battles in our life, that peace he would give to us in Jesus' name. So please do come to him. He's the way and he's the life. He's the truth. He's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last after earth. After we have breathed, you know, breathed our last on earth here, there is another life after death. And you're sure to have a good one in Christ Jesus, which is eternal life in heaven at last. So please do come to him. Thank you. Thank you for staying tuned. And I wish you success in life and also in your GD test. Okay. See you in our next video.